everyone, welcome to the Beat'em Up Wrestling. This is the AEW Dynamite um, FTR Tag Team Appreciation Night. Why is it FTR? That's what it was. It was the it's F FTRs? Yeah. I just always say Tag Team Appreciation. No, I have the FTR logo on it. Oh, I didn't even notice yeah. that. FTR put this together, so if you guys have any problems with the booking, go hit them up on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the night starts off with a tag team match, of course. Yep. Uh, it was the Young Bucks versus uh, the Dark Order. Once again, the Dark Order is such a good team. Second week in a row, the yeah. Dark Order came out. Evil Uno and um, Grayson looked amazing. Yeah, they, they, it feels like uh, missed opportunity. They should have gotten the belts. In my opinion, I I understand why they didn't. I understand the long term storytelling, but uh, honestly, from where the Dark Order first came out of in All Out last year to where they're at now. Um, I think that that team is, is one of the most underrated uh, teams when it comes to the fan base. I mean, they're hilarious yeah. on BTE. Um, you got um, Reynolds and um, Silver. I always keep I always think you're thinking about uh, Long John Silvers. <laughs> um, yeah, they're 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 charismatic. They're funny. They they bring a whole different um, dynamic dynamic to to BTE. And, uh, yeah, the Dark Order is not to be taken as serious as it was, but it wasn't getting over the, the way it was before. And I think now, I think people could appreciate them a little bit more. And I, and I think Stu and Evil Uno are, are really one of the best teams they have in, in AEW. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, it sucks because, like, I don't know if it would have worked for them just to keep getting disqualifications, like having the Dark Order come in. Like, I just, I'm sad that they keep getting, you know, losses. It builds up to, like... You know Brody getting mad and things like that. Um, you know, especially with this last BT when they're doing the baby back ribs, you know, bit and mm -hmm. you know, and the league gets pissed because that was their thing. They were supposed to get that contract with Chili's. And I think they did get Chili's to be a part of yeah. it because they used their logo. They used their people. logo, and it was funny because then you have Brody that just screams all like you know barbecue sauce, <laughs> like with so much fierceness, and it was even like yeah barbecue sauce. It was so scary. <laughs> Yeah. But everybody was so happy. Like there was a dark. Girl. I was like, "Yay! Look, he's not that mad right now." <laughs> We're not getting papered. We're not getting papered. Um, yeah, but no, it just it builds up to where you want them to have um, what is it? Credibility. You want them yeah. to have something that makes them credible. You want them to have somebody has to have a belt finally in that group, um, right. some sort of gold, uh, which brings us to what's going to happen in a little bit. But yep. yeah, it's just. Yeah, even going further, we said all out. If you go back to All In, when they came in, they're like, "Who are you?" Like they're they're like a lot of people didn't know who they were, yeah. um, and then they you know were starting to build a base. Then they get into Dynamite, and then they were like creepy perverts, and it didn't work. And then you yeah. know all it happens again, and it still kind of falls flat. And then finally, finally, and I don't know if it's because of the magic of how Brody Lee's persona came in, and I don't know if it was that one piece of fabric they needed, even though it wasn't the initial person they had in mind for this. Mm -hmm he built something and like there's so much charisma in all of them now even the one that doesn't speak because he's the one that doesn't speak you know and then you have you like you said you have silver and um reynolds and reynolds that are just brilliant yeah. really he has this and he had like an accent this week for no reason like it was just it's stupid things yeah. and then you have eva una who continues to shine same thing with grayson and coca Cabana, that little weird fact yeah. that they have in and anna jay and then you got uh five and ten yeah um if Tay Conti ends up joining as a part of Anna J, that would be great too. Yeah, like um, that's a, like you guys are forgetting. Like you know, it's like an NWO Aces of Eight. It's yeah. like a huge faction. I mean, yeah, but it, it's, it's not. Be, it's not as over and it's not probably over will Never be as over as NWO and Aces of Eight. But, but maybe but. if they once things shift in other directions with other storylines what if they did get a little more serious? What if Kenny yeah? joins the Dark Order? That's what I kept saying. <laughs> I was like, hey. That would be cool. <laughs> no, I don't think. I don't think they're dark. <laughs> um, I don't think it'll get to that point. You but, know what I mean, though. Like yeah. if they did a little bit of a swerve where they're still funny, but it's more serious, and they start taking names and they like should, you know, they should get they Abaddon. They nuke them, everybody. You want to get somebody dark? Get Abaddon. <laughs> right. No, but uh, you can't put everybody in the dark order. You no. want to become like NWO, but uh, they they do have something different now. They, yeah, they, they've grown. They do grow. They have a grown, and it's not overshadowing that much anymore. Like you're looking forward to some of their matches, so I look forward to them. Mm -hmm. um, which I, if you go back to our videos, I haven't said that in a very long time. Um, but very good match, definitely a nice way to kick off um, Dynamite. We get into do MJF come out after that? Yeah, MJF did his little bit again. Um, the whole, we deserve better. Mm -hmm. Hashtag not my champion. He he did a throwback to when. Um... 
Samoa Joe uh, smashed yeah. him up against the, the wall. He did that to Lee Johnson, so... It was frame for frame the way he came yeah. out the back and everything like that, um, so it was, like, so pretty if, good. if we're to follow this, then Lee Johnson's going to be a huge star in five years. That would be... I would like it. Him and the captain. Woo! Okay, yeah. anyways, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, he, you know, he, he lays down the ring, calls Mox out. Um, you know, Mox does come out, things like that progress and uh yeah it's we get a couple of more there's a lot of segments and promos we get uh, uh matt hardy talking about sandy guevara again i did not like this one um no i appreciated the matt hardy segment more in bte where he looked he looked literally this time legit broken but um, yeah no i know that part yeah but the, the the part that i didn't like is the fact that they're making it seem like oh how dare sammy hurt somebody are we not supposed to believe this is wrestling and kayfabe and uh, um, people are trying to hurt each other? Or are we supposed to be like, oh, no, it's supposed to be a, a safe work environment? Like, yeah, no, everything's send- rigged. Yeah, right? you're sending mixed signals with this whole thing. For him to be pissed off that he got hit with the chair and he started bleeding, well, guess what? That that was the whole point of getting hit with the chair. Like, you, I get that it, that it was unsafe. I get that Sammy panicked and grabbed the closest chair that was to him and he didn't get the rigged yeah. chair or whatever. Accidents happen. But in wrestling, red equals green, meaning Becky Lynch, Britt Baker, go with it. Like, you know. Well, they did. They went with it in BT, which is weird because yeah. when they approached it on Dynamite, they approached it from a different yeah, it angle. Was weird. And then so, he, he beats up a ref just yeah, because, because he has he, the jacket. Okay, to be fair, though, he really looked like Sammy from behind. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, just, I, I just found it like. Yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, I, I don't like where they're going with it. Like, uh, I, I like the beginning where they're like, hey, Matt won't really like Sammy and he sees Sammy as the, the next him. But then now, oh, you hurt me, so now I hate you and I'm going to kill you and like I'm beefing at you on Twitter. It's just like, so you want us to believe that everything else was fake and now that he hit you and cost you 13 stitches, now it's real? Like, yeah. it, it's just weird. And that might just be me nitpicking on the, at this point. Because I know that Matt Hardy and Sammy have been working on building the storyline yeah. way before this little part. I hope this is just a, a speed bump. And I hope that, like, I know that they could bring a good match. So that's what I have to say. No, I, I, from my angle, looking at the time that it has passed and Sammy was gone, looking when he was here, it almost doesn't make any sense that there's a big deal that he got hit in a chair. Mm-hmm. Because you ran over Sammy twice. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you already did X amount of things when you were a different persona. And if you don't remember that through the multiverse, you know, then that's not your, that's not our problem. And I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't that, know. That's a good point. He, he did he run him over twice. He beat the crap twice. out of Sammy. You know, like, you, Sammy was having PTSD at one point. You know what I mean? Like, so to be fair, the chair shot was like, that kind of should have happened. Yeah. You know, if things wouldn't have transpired, that would have happened a lot sooner. And so I like the play on that Sammy's like a little more cutthroat when it comes to Matt. Matt taking a backseat is a little weird for me. I hope it, yeah. it plays out better. I hope they're working things out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I, I, for me, I would just like, dude, you, you try to run him over. The first time was like, okay, it was a huge setup. And the second time was completely on purpose. And you and Kenny looked amazingly like yeah, but, insane. Uh, yeah. But like the, the thing, and then, and then Kenny freaking one wings angels him from like, Yeah, he point. died. <laughs> Everybody killed him during this, like the stampede. Um, I mean, but, I would be like. Ugh. But yeah, like I think that instead of playing this angle of, oh no, now the, the Bucks want to fire Sammy because he hurt you. Well, that was like, more of like, it, it was, yeah, it was no, like, I know, I know, but, I, but I'm, just, no, no, it was on BTE. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, 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 yeah so, they did the So, that whole thing where it's like. We get rid of them. Like, really? Like, they should have just used it a different way. They should have, they, they should have used to propel Sammy saying like, that's right, I cut you, I gave you 13 stitches, and it's going to be worse next time. I don't know, put more heat on Sammy, put it like. Like they really hate each other now, and this this would make, this would be a huge feud instead of like coming off as weird now. Like at least that's my opinion. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, definitely. Uh, then we get into what I think should have been the main event. It should have been uh, Cody versus Scorpio Sky. This was a great match. Um, a lot of storytelling, a lot of little things mm-hmm. that you could see happening. You could see Scorpio being aggravated with his position, um, where the road is taking. You know, led him. Uh, even at the end, he kind of didn't want to go by Cody. He kind of just was like, you know, yeah. done with it. You know what I mean? And I like the heat on him. I like that kind of, you don't know where he's at with SCU. You don't really know where he's at in his mindset. Um, and then once again, Cody showboating, aren't getting upset. He came out with not just Brandy. He came out with, you know, Dustin too. Like he came out the whole, you know, a whole party. And yeah. here for, to like, he came out by himself, which was like, oh, you know, SCU isn't a thing with Scorpio anymore. I don't know. He hasn't really been around them as much. Um, 
But yeah, he came out solo. He, I liked the way he kicked down the door. There was this whole like drama to it. Yeah. And I said he wasn't going to win, but I think it would have been a more service to the character and to the building of the story if this was the main bout and not the main bout we got. Um, I, I like the match. Uh, yeah. Scorpio Sky this has was, been this dominating. This was the match of the night. This yeah. was the match of the night. Um, and once again, it's like, it's Cody who's really putting... Yeah. And yes, okay, we want the belt to change over, but that's not... We're not trying um, to downplay how much yeah. Cody's put in the work for this, like he always says. He's he's put out great matches. Mm -hmm. um, I don't... I can't really say a time where I felt the match was off. Um, I know Sunny. There was a couple of little missteps. I like the Sunny, but I, I yeah, I know people have picked on it, but it. it no, I'm saying, but if I really had to like yeah. look at everything, like there was like one or two missteps. But once again, like uh, what's the saying? Brian Alvarez was says like, would you rather have weird ass yeah. camera angles? Yeah. Or Botch, botches are a part of real life. Not it everything, happens. Not everything comes off perfect. If you want something perfect, then yeah. it'll be a movie, and it'll take a bunch of edits. Even Neo missed his punches with Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> not Mr. Anderson, the, the, yeah. the agent, <laughs> Mr. Smith, Agent Smith. But you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to always work. Um, and, yeah, it just sucks that people keep on thinking that it is. Um, yeah, so I'm going um, to, unless you want to add something more. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, for me, it felt like you have misused Scorpio Sky yet again. Um, okay, I get it. The belt got a new coating. It looks awesome. I, I do like the, the new coating that they put on it. Um, but... You have this whole promo where he's going to bring his own chair to the damn table. He's going to knock down the door. He's the king of dark. Cody has already defended the belt um, seven times, I believe, somewhere around there. Yeah, around there. Um, so it's like, how many def title defenses are you going to give Cody? Um, Cody does not need the belt at this point. Scorpio mm -hmm. does need the belt at this point. Your company is being attacked for its lack of diversity inclusivity and representation here you have a bona fide star in scorpio sky which you mr uh, rhodes before the company set out said that uh, scorpio sky deserves to be a champion for a company and that other company the other company doesn't represent minorities as they should they don't give them opportunities but AEW is going to be different now correct me if i'm wrong that that i paraphrased the quote that, that he said I'm not attacking Cody at this point. I'm just bringing up what what he said. I think that the way that it built up, Scorpio Sky would have been amazing to win the belt. It would have uh, gotten everybody buzzing, especially if it was the main event. If it was this yeah. was the main event and Scorpio Sky gets the brand new coating to your belt, like it would have it would have elevated his stock and it would not have hurt Cody at all. And that was just, that's just my opinion on it. Yeah, um, I don't know. It, for me, it's just uh, um, it's wasted breath talking about the the way things are being branded and being pushed. Uh, you know, like we didn't get the Lucha Bros this week, even though it was tag team. We didn't get a match with Santana Ortiz. Well, the, the way they um, explained it was yeah. that um, FTR does not respect Luchasaur, uh, the Luchasaurus, the Lucha Brothers, because they don't use the tag ropes, which they did not use tag ropes today, and that was one of the rules that FTR had made. Um, and that they don't they don't really represent real tag teams. So I yeah. I, I, I could see I, that. I get it. I don't care. Yeah, FTR, Cause, FTR cause it, gets to do a day, but tag yeah. teams that have been there forever don't. Yeah, like you guys just got signed. I'm yeah. excuse me. Like were you guys there all in with Kenny Omega and Pentagon? Like, yeah. you know, like those were like defining moments in the organization too. Um but for me it just goes back to like where's the color at? Cause then all we got was Scorpio Sky. Like yeah. it's just it's a lot it's a lot well, of we got private party that, but putting a, over the the, um, the Hardy Boys. Yeah, and, and that's cool and stuff like that. But, you know, when it's a tag team appreciation now, you would think that even, even if you would have, like, an interference, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. we do get one, Santana Ortiz comes out a little bit later, but, you know, like... Or, or talk about the fact that um, Private Party was the upset on your tag team tournament. Just spring that up real quick. Or just have, like, them. my thing with the tag team term, um, appreciation thing was that you have Private Party, they set a spot, but you could have had everybody together. You could have multiple tag teams. Like, we... We know there's kayfabe or whatever, but we also know that they talk outside and everybody intermingles with each other mm -hmm. on BTE. They could have just all sat down and be like, you know, like, no, no, no. You know who's the best tag team? They could have just been throwing it down like who they wanted. They could put a quick little photo and it would have been a really cool thing to see organicness and how much they loved wrestling, the different mm -hmm. tag teams. Just like with the women, like I felt like they could have 
had a few women sit down and be like, oh, I remember that one time when, you know, Matt Hardy did this. And even if they talk about the Hardys, you know, or they talk about Rock and Roll Express or even like the Young Bucks. Arn and you Tully. Know, Arn and Tully. But they could have had a group of women be like, yeah, I remember when I was 12 and I saw, you know, Arn do this or whatever. Yeah. And they could have just had that. It didn't have to be tag teams talking about tag teams and it didn't have to be just men talking about the men. Um, you, you always want to break down the barriers where they're just wrestlers. Don't think about it as female wrestlers, male wrestlers, they're just wrestlers. Yep. So that's my two cents on that part. Mm-hmm. The only reason why I say that is because like, we're getting into another tag team match. But before I say that, Brody Lee, they come out and challenge Cody, um, on Saturday, August 22nd, which is the dynamite. They get switched because of the NBA coming back on TNT, um, for the TNT belt. I hope that Brody loses somehow to a disqualification. Something happens. Is it Brody loses? Brody, yeah. You want Brody to lose? No, if he if he loses, I don't want it to be cleanly. Mm. It better not be cleanly if he loses. If I, he if he wins and doesn't get the belt, then that's fine because of you know interference and stuff like that. That's cool right. with me. Okay. Um, yeah, I just if Cody has to win, it doesn't it, it needs to be in a different direction because you can't have Brody. I don't know. It just it's one once again dark order. We're talking about yeah. it. They want momentum. I don't want to see Brody lose momentum again because he's becoming this really cool character. Um, I liked how he stole the belt. I was telling him this. Uh, he stole the belt from Moxley. So he stole the old belt from Cody. And I liked how he's like, I'll just give you this old one. Kind of like it's a toy now. It doesn't mean anything. Um, yeah. I like that whole angle. Um, yeah, and it's just, he's menacing. He's a big guy. He's a good wrestler. We don't see a lot of him, of him all the time. Um, so I enjoy when I do get to see him. Yeah, I, I think that if Brody does not win the belt, no matter what happens, if he does not come off with the belt, that's it for the Dark Order. Yeah. You can have a cult leader fail not once to get the belt, but twice to get a belt. Yeah. Um, if he if Cody retains the belt, how can you have Brody Lee papering people? How can he say, Oh, you're gonna be successful with me? How can Anna J uh follow him? How can uh Ivo Uno and Stu Grayson follow him? How why would Coca Banna want to join the team if he wants to be a winner? Why would he join a team of a guy that can't even get the belt? So yeah. I think you guys booked yourself into a corner in pushing Brody Lee in this. Unless Brody Lee comes off as your new TNT champion, you're going to do a great disservice, not just to Brody Lee, but all the members of the Dark Order. Yeah, he's a, uh, it's a really good angle. Um, but yeah, it's he can only be angry that they missed out on Jungle Boy, missed out on Hangman, and all these other opportunities for so long before it's like, well, you know... I guess, mm-hmm. you know, nice guys finish last, even though they're not really nice. Yeah. But, like, it's just like they're never going to get it. Yep. You know, always the bridesmaid, never to bride. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and it's like, so you're going to go around papering people for losing matches when you yeah, can't Yeah, when win. you can't. And, yeah, he ha- he has to win because yep. technically Evil Luna could be like. Yep. You know, so um, we get into a really good bout again. Um, the next match was Hangman and Kenny Omega versus Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus of the Jurassic Express. For the tag team um, championship. And uh, Marco comes out with them. Um, I just enjoyed... It was a good match. Uh, once again, uh, Jungle Boy had a few little missteps. Um, he missed... Uh, he was going on the ropes. And I think he slipped. Um, that could be just because I don't know if they're disinfecting in between matches, too. Yeah, I don't know if they're doing that. It's hot. It's hot. Um, it's sticky. Uh, it, but it's still... Was a good match. I'm just enjoying Kenny losing his 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 shit. Everywhere. Yeah, I, I enjoy that. But how many times have we seen this match? How yeah. many times have we seen Kenny and Hangman go against uh, Jurassic Express in different iterations? Like you know, we call out other companies when they give us the same match week after week. You have one of the biggest tag team divisions in um, professional wrestling, and you're not using them. You're giving yeah. us the same people constantly. Yep. So that's the, the the one problem I had with this. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, because they just did that uh, twelve man. Yeah. Uh, We're constantly getting Kenny and and, and <laughs> Jurassic <laughs> Express. <laughs> and then we get into yeah, we get the FTR thing with the box coming out the uh, ring with mm-hmm. um the Rock and Roll Express and. Arn and Tully, and it went on for way too long. The only good part was Tully and Arn get into yeah, it. Tully's uh, promo was, was fire on this one. He um, did a really good job. Yeah, I enjoyed promo. the one when he gave to Sean Spears in that limo, where he was, yeah. you know, that limo um, in the room, where yeah. he was, like, beat red and his veins were popping out. Yeah. Um, yeah. T- Tully's very intimidating. Um, he came out awesome. Uh, I think there was some storytelling progression here where I don't, so I'm hoping that this kind of leads into the uh, Cody thing. 
where Tully calls out Arn for wearing that uh, Nightmare Family thing and calling him out on how he used to be a heel when he was a part of the Four Horsemen and it was Tully and, and Arn as a tag team and now what is he doing? He's just following Cody. Sean Spear comes out and then Arn walks out. He has so, this look in his face, Sean, when he walks yeah, out. <laughs> but like, so he walks out and people are like, oh look, Arn is getting mad. But was he really getting mad or was it a distraction for the Young Bucks to leave the ring and let FTR beat up the Rock and Roll Express? Because if we know what we're seeing here is FTR represents the new Tully and Arn. They mm -hmm. have that old school wrestling stuff. Rock and Roll Express brought the high flying, all that stuff that the Young Which Bucks now represent. Yeah. So we saw the past and the future right there in the ring, which was really good and subtle storytelling. And I, I really liked what they did here. Did it go a little too long? Yes. But at the end, it built up for what we're going to see, which is FTR is a heel. They really don't care about the Young Bucks and they're just buying their time until they beat the crap out of them. Let's also just point out that they did jab at them for not having titles. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, they're the one of, you know, they're pretty much two of the yeah. best tag teams, but the tag team belts are on two guys that are not really a tag team. But the so, real good, best tag team in the world. <laughs> yeah, but um, just to say that Kenny and Hangman are fire. Um, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Y'all thinking Young Bucks, woo woo, and FTR yeah. or whatever. But uh, yeah, I know. Ken Kenny and Hangman. I'm, they, they became a tag team. They're, yeah, they, they have really good chemistry. They, they I just like the fact that they were they were there to like represent tag yeah. team appreciation. And also the table turned and just like you guys don't even have to go. Yeah. Like they just drank too much before they came out there and started. Tully, and Tully, man was like, "What the hell?" Tully saying it how it is. And Tully just jabbing his pointy little like bony finger in Orange's chest, and Orange is like, "Yeah." You know, I, I, so. I I like the, the, the Tully part the most. Too um, much Jarrettal in the ring. It was just too much. <laughs> <laughs> it was going too much. Yeah. But uh, we do get um, Jericho talking about, because Mike should know this back as a referee. So he's mm -hmm. telling him, just like, look at the other way, doing Orange Cassidy match. So we get another spot. Uh, we also get a Santana Ortiz with the best friends, you know, messing up. Yeah, their, that was weird. Too. Messing up their, their clothes. So we get <laughs> they, a lot. They poured bleach. There's a them. lot of spots here today. Um, but none of them had to do with the women. Um, we do get Hikaru Shida versus Heather uh, Monroe, and it was it was it was it a very a short match, two minute and twelve second match. So I don't even could... want to I don't even want to get into it because we're already getting long. It is, and yeah. I don't even want to talk about. But uh, Heather Monroe is super talented. Go check her out. She's done some amazing work, um, and it just I, I loved seeing her because when I saw her, I was like, oh my god, they, they, she's gonna be on on Dynamite because they didn't announce her until the match started, and then. We get a two minute match, and I'm like, and it was sloppy because it was two minutes. Well, yeah, try, like everybody keeps saying, like, oh, the women are yeah. green, the women are green. It was like, you try to do something, try to tell a story in three minutes and without then, stumbling. Tony Giovanni interviews Sheeta at the end, and saying that you know, uh, when she's next, like, oh, she's ready to, you know, fight, just bring it. And it's like, is there an open challenge anymore? Is there not so, an open challenge? Yeah, she did an open challenge before, and it ended up have, becoming the Eva Lee's Diamante storyline, which. It wasn't even open challenge, and, and it looks like they the buried belt. it because yeah. it was kind of like I don't know if she was supposed to say that, so I don't know exactly uh, what happened, but it's been buried and it kind of sucks a little bit. They brought it back up, and uh, there's some women out there, uh, some talented uh, women wrestlers. I should just say wrestlers, some because they are just wrestlers. They're, they're wrestlers. Well, right now we have to say women talent because it feels like we, they're not on the same level as regular wrestlers. It feels like they're just they're an afterthought in some for way. AEW, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, like, you know, we'll just say that. Yeah, but, but um, uh, there's some really talented women, sorry. No, no, it's fine. That are uh, answering the challenge. Yeah, definitely. And it's just, if there's a challenge even to be answered, yeah. that's my whole point. Uh, I'm just tired of kind of, like, talking about it. It's a little winded. Um, yeah, we'll have an open table soon. Yeah, we're going to have a um, round table, a, a yeah. round table discussion with some other people. Um, so you guys can get different viewpoints, kind of like we do with the AEW friends, but we're going to expand on that. And we'll probably do it after the tag tournament. We just kind of want to see things play out. We'll have more to talk about them, more content. Um, cause we don't want to just keep on saying the same things, um, every week, but this was, you know, two minutes. We didn't think we can get any worse than that. So <laughs> we have another promo with Jake Roberts and Lance Archer. This was a weird promo. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, uh, Jake, um, Lance Archer rips, uh, Jake's shirt off and turn makes him turn around where it says everybody dies um but jake robert kind of whimpers like come on man don't do this so it's like is jake roberts now being held hostage by lance archer 
I'll I'll pay to see that. <laughs> like, you know, like so, like, like I, what, I like what's blades. going on there. That was a little weird. Um, so in between is we get to talk about All Out. They started mentioning it. Um, and then we were talking about the Saturday being moved over. If Dino would take place after the either 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time or immediately after the NBA playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, we will get FTR versus Private Party, the Elite versus Alex Reynolds, John Silver, and Alan Angels. Um, the finals for the Women's Tag Team Cup will be on that um, Dynamite. Darby Allen will be in action. Lucha Bros, The Butcher, and The Blade versus Jungle Boy, which serves QT Marshall and Dustin Rhodes. A little bit different right there. And then we'll have the main, hopefully this will be the main event. I hope it is. Cody versus Brandy Lee. I mean, Bro Brody Lee. Sorry, not Brandy. Brody <laughs> Lee versus, uh, for the AEW TNT Championship. Finally getting into the last contest of the night, which is Jericho versus Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy gets one over. I thought it was over, but now it's one for one. I yeah. thought this match was, I thought he looked winded, Jericho. I don't yeah, think it should have been the main good. bout. Um, I appreciate Orange doing a lot of different things in this match. I think he carried the match for the most part. Then we get Santana Ortiz coming in with an interference because, yeah, of course they're going to interfere. Mm -hmm. um, people are speculating about a uh, steel cage match for All Out because to make sure nobody's parties come in at one point. I'm kind of over this already. Yeah. No offense. And that, that's me being a Jericho fan. I think you're taking away from other things that could potentially be happening. Even with, if you, I, I could even say with other male storylines. Yeah, I, I, I love Orange Cassidy. Uh, so. I love Orange Cassidy way more than I like Jericho at this point. Um, and I just feel like you're hurting him with this. Like, the, the feud should be elevating him. And what we saw was just kind of like, I don't know. It, it, it Like you said, Jericho was winded. Um, oh, and let me clarify. When I say like I like him more than Jericho right now is at, at this point in their careers. Um, before I start getting attacked for that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's like Jericho was visibly out of shape. And it just, I think this was their worst uh, outing and they main evented it. Like, I, I thought what they did with uh, Fighter Fest was better. Yeah. And I think that, uh, like, now it's just kind of like, how much longer are you guys going to keep pushing this? It's kind of like not, I don't know. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. I, I Cody and, and Scorpio Sky, again, should have been the main event for tonight. Yeah, because um, ending it with Brody with that challenge would have been a pretty good um, still yeah. frame, him in the ring. There was so much buzz on the internet about it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Now, uh, that's our two thoughts. We will be back uh, next week yep. for uh, more, well, more the, stuff. Yeah, it's going to be Saturday, though. Yeah, so. it'll be Saturday. So, you, you, we might come back in with some other stuff with some other people. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll subscribe and you'll get notified. But until next time, we'll see you later.